Hello everyone, this has actually come from Switzerland today and in it are, are three 3x3s three which may not sound very interesting but they're all 3x3s three that I'm very very excited to open up. Here's one. All right, so we're gonna start off over here. This is a Guhong. It's a Guhong version two. Um, they had blue prototypes of them. Not quite sure how many were made. There was two stores that sold them. So this is only very slightly different than the official version of the Guhong version two, but it is still pretty cool nonetheless. So this here is actually a transparent Lin Yang. And that is pretty cool. So, yeah, these are all in, in very nice condition. Again, they made these transparent ones before the regular version of the Lin Yang. Uh, about a hundred were made, I'm not sure exactly how many, but it's uh, pretty cool. They also did this with the Lun Hoi and the Zan Chi. And I've already got a Lun Hoi, if, few years ago actually, and then the Zanchi is actually right here. All right. So again, this is in really nice condition. There's almost no wear on the pieces from it being turned. I'm pretty glad that this one is completely unstickered. All right, so I'm recording this part of the video around one year after I recorded the unboxing of these three cubes. I felt it would be useful since I know even more about these cubes now and could tell you a bit more about them. So starting off with the Lin Yang, in the video I said around 100 were made. I'm not sure exactly if that's true or not, if it's more or less. I would assume if it's any number different than 100, it would probably be a little bit more being that these were sold at several different stores, but also given out as special edition cubes at Chinese competitions. One interesting thing about the transparent Lin Yang version 1s is they all came with white cores, which was different than came with the black and white Lin Yang version 1s at the time. They also came with the regular stickers applied like this one has on it now. But the transparent Lun Hoi and transparent Zanchi, if they did come with stickers applied, they were transparent stickers, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know if I even mentioned it in the unboxing, but this is a Lin Yang version 1. They never made a Lin Yang version 2 in transparent, and the biggest difference is just that torpedoes will not fit in this version. I'll talk a little bit about the Guhong. Like I said, this is a Guhong version 2 prototype but it's really not that much different at all from the official version. The turning is a little bit different, but not very much at all, and the pieces have almost no visible changes between the released version and this one, which is extremely common in the final prototype version of a cube, because once they find a prototype that works, they're not going to change it for the released puzzle. That just wouldn't make sense. And with the Guhong version 2, they didn't need those drastically different prototypes at first because they already had that with the Guhong version 1. They only needed to make sure that torpedoes would fit in the puzzle. So that's why they made these. And again, I'm not exactly sure how many they made. I know it was not that many, but this cube was sold for around $50 and he got it from someone while he was in China. At the time, I remember some people talking about how this was like a ripoff because other prototype versions that were sold were extremely different from the final released version and made out of different plastics and were really cool. But this was pretty much the same as a Guhong version 2 you could buy for $12 just a little while later once it was released. So that's kind of interesting. A lot of the prototypes that were released for other cubes, you could tell a difference just by looking at it, that it's a totally different cube. But this one, you would really have no idea unless you were told it was a prototype. Which brings me to the transparent Zanchi. 
This is kind of confusing and also very interesting. The first batch of like normal colored Zanchis, the black and white, had 2,000 made. And they made around a 100 to 120 transparent ones before that. Now again, this was a special edition meant to be given out at WCA competitions in China. But this one is a little bit different. This will be very hard to see on the transparent one, so I have this green one here to show you. These two sort of raised areas on the centerpiece here. Those were added after the first couple of prototype versions. Now, the original transparent Zanchi, where there was 100 to 120 made right at the beginning in, in April of 2011, before the Zanchi was produced and released, didn't have those raised areas. But this one does. I've done many hours of searching and haven't been able to quite find out everything I would like to know about this version of Transparent Zanchi. All I've been able to think of what might have happened is they just made more of them and never mentioned it. You see, the Transparent Zanchi ended up being sold on around four other websites, which kind of contradicted what they originally said, how it was just meant to be sort of a special edition given out at competitions in China. So maybe the ones with the different centerpiece were given out at WCA competitions and then they made more to sell online. Again, that's all I could really think of at the moment. But if you have any information on this, please let me know in a comment. Also, you might have heard me mention before about an ABS transparent Zanchi. All of the transparent Zanchis that were ever released were made in PC plastic, this one included. There were around a dozen ABS plastic transparent Zanchis that were made that were never circulated or sold anywhere. It's a little bit more of a dull color than the PC one, so it would be less desirable to most collectors, being that it doesn't look as nice. But the rarity and sort of story behind it is what has intrigued me, although I've never been able to find anyone that has one of those. I was cubing before any of these cubes came out, and I remember seeing them come up for sale on certain websites, but not thinking too much of them because I wasn't doing nearly as much research on dying cubes at the time as I am now. When I was making an order back in 2011 to 51 More Fun, I remember specifically seeing the Transparent Zanchi and Lunhoi and Lin Young, all for around $16. Now, I already had or was getting uh, black versions of each of those puzzles, and since Transparent Cubes weren't allowed in competition, I figure I would just get what I was already planning to get at the time because I didn't have enough money to get the different cubes that I wanted and the transparent versions of the Zanchi, Lin Young, and Lun Hoi, so I decided I would wait, but I didn't know how rare they were and they ended up selling out very quickly, which cost me in the long run. I normally don't talk about the cost of puzzles and unboxings because I don't want it to seem like I'm bragging or I have a lot of money to spend. The price of a puzzle doesn't matter to me that much if it's a puzzle I really want. The sort of sentimental value of a cube has much more meaning to me than a monetary value. There are many rare puzzles that have lots of value that I don't care to own because it's not one I ever wanted to own. But these were different. Like I said, I saw when these cubes were getting released, and they were ones I wanted, but just didn't have the money for at the time. So I ended up spending $75 on the Transparent Lin Young, $75 on the Transparent Zanchi, and $50 for the Blue Gu Hong. You may think that's a lot of money to spend on a cube that I'm never going to solve, that's just going to sit on a shelf and look cool. And I kind of do too, but for the moment, at least back then, I had saved up a lot, and I, I've always kind of saved up to get Diane cubes. So whenever the opportunity comes up to get a really cool one like these three, I generally take the chance right away. Alright, now I'll just uh, let myself from a year ago do the outro. So, that is it. Thank you so 
very much for watching. Goodbye.